Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.8 Perform your prescribed duties, such as the chanting of the Gaya Trimantra, because action is better than inaction. If you refrain from action, you will not even be able to maintain your body. Sar Ardavarshini Therefore, O Arjuna, perform your regulated duties, such as your morning, noon and evening mantras, Sanya, and your worship, Upasana. It is better to do this than to renounce your prescribed duty, Karma. If you give up all karma, you will not even be able to maintain your body. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashikariti The above statement is verified in Chandogya Upanishad 7.26.2. Ahara Shudhau Sattva Sudhihi Sattva Shudhau Dhruva Smritihi Smriti Labe Sarva Grantinam Vipramo Kshaha It is by the purity of food that one's mind becomes purified. When the mind is purified, one attains a stable memory. When the memory is stable, all the nodes of the heart are untied. Furthermore, it is stated in the Gita 3.13 Bunjati titva akam papa ye pajanti atma karanat Those who cook grains and other foodstuffs for their own sake are sinful and certainly partake of sin. It is understood from this and other statements that for the perfection of one's practice, sadhana, it is necessary to maintain and protect the body and for this it is imperative to follow the scriptural injunctions for the performance of one's prescribed duties. However, those who impetuously give up all action by taking sannyas do not receive the light of knowledge in their impure hearts. Moreover, if they perform no work at all, they can even leave their bodies because they have not maintained them. <laughs>